big, big news. Ecamm Live, the software that you can use to stream to the internet or to stream to Zoom or Skype using virtual cam, Ecamm Live have just put out the new version and it supports multiple cameras with USB input so that you can stream from your mirrorless camera, your DSLR camera, directly to Ecamm Live without a HDMI adapter. This is absolutely massive for us right now during COVID-19 because it is really extremely hard to get a HDMI adapter. And Ecamm Live have been just working hard behind the scenes to make this operate and to make it work. And we've been working with them. Nikon, uh, the Nikon Z is the camera that I've got. So I've got the Z6 and the Z7 and they're brilliant cameras for video. Just beautiful. As you can see, I'm actually doing this on Ecamm Live via USB. And I, uh, I have my Nikon Z6 pointing to me right now with a 1.835 mil Z lens on. And it's just amazing. Look at the quality of it. I can output in high definition. And um, I have just been thrilled with this. This is phenomenal. You can plug in multiple cameras via USB. So you don't need a device that handles multiple cameras and a switcher. You can plug them in via USB and use multiple cameras in a home setting, studio setting, or even in a professional setting. Now there's some other huge news on this. I decided to try out my Tether Tools Air Direct, which I've been using for a while for tethering to capture one, um, to tether photos, to tether RAWs. It works really, really well. It basically tricks the computer into thinking that it's operating on a USB, but it's running over wireless. So I had a thought, what if the AirDirect worked for video as a wireless video sender from my other Z, my Nikon Z7, for example, straight to Ecamm Live? It actually works. I am going to just switch this on right now and you are getting a live feed, a completely live feed from my Nikon Z. I'm just pointing it around the studio right now. It is running wirelessly. I can move around in freedom with my other camera. I can have them both hooked up at the one time. Okay, so I'm, I can literally point it at myself. Let's have a look. Pointing it at myself with like really, hello, hello, very little, if any lag at all. The Wi-Fi mm -hmm. signal is pretty much the same as USB in. This is, I'm sorry to make you seasick, but this is absolutely massive, okay? This means you can get a, a device that is inexpensive, that not only captures um, and sends photos across as a capture device, uh, as a tethering device, but it also sends video wirelessly. Now I've tested the distance and you will need to test under your own conditions. I was able to go out the back of the studio and it still sent a signal, although uh, as I sort of moved through buildings and outside buildings, uh, that signal did depreciate. So you will need to test how far you can actually send it. It might be different depending on if you switch on 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz and which, uh, which way that you run this. You will probably find, and again, I'd love to hear from you guys on tests on this, but you'll probably find the signal is stronger on the direct connection. Now, the way that I've got it set up, because you can use bridge mode now with Tether Tools, the way I've got it set up right now is I've got my computer running on the network on um, the internet via ethernet cable. I'm using my Wi-Fi to connect to this, to the AirDirect. 
So my Wi-Fi is simply for the Air Direct and my internet is going through the Ethernet cable. And that's really the best way to do it when you're streaming because running direct hardwired um, for your internet, you're going to get a better signal, a better bandwidth, a better speed. And uh, that frees up the Wi-Fi on the computer for this. Now on a portable device uh, or a device where I don't have uh, the ability to plug in via Ethernet, um, what I would do is I would plug into my phone connection. So I'd have my phone sending the internet via USB and then I can run the Wi-Fi on this. So it works the same way. I've got another video about tethering and it shares a little bit about my setup with that as well. I hope this excites you guys as much as it excites me. Ecamm Live have a demo version. So if you've never tried it before, go and download their demo. Plug your camera in, check it out, see if it works uh, and try your Air Direct. And if you haven't got a Tether Tools Air Direct, I recommend you go get one because it is the most brilliant thing ever. Now, not just for tethering, but wow, for uh, video. The, these Z cameras are just fantastic for video. I absolutely love mine. Um, but the Z6 is the better one for video if you're looking for mainly video purposes. The Z7 will work just as well on Ecamm Live and sending through that high definition video. You can send it out to YouTube, to Facebook, um, to, as I said, to Zoom, as a virtual camera, to Skype. Let me know how you go, guys. This is massive. I'm putting the links down below. Subscribe to my channel if you want more information on anything, really. I mean, I do a lot of Photoshop compositing and that's what it's all about. But uh, at the moment, we're in COVID-19. We're locked down and streaming is the big thing. It's the way that we're communicating with each other. It's the way that we're presenting. And uh, so that's why I am absolutely so excited about this. Let me know if you have any questions and have fun streaming.